friends welcome back to my channel today i have a big sam's club haul to share with y'all share these about once a month and i think the last time i went was early december but we needed a lot today we needed paper products we needed meat so i've got a lot to share with y'all so we're gonna go ahead and get into it Okay, I'll do a quick overview of everything that I got. And we'll start over here with the meat. So we needed some ground beef and chicken specifically because we're almost out of that in the freezer. So I got two of these packs of ground beef. They are $3.98 a pound. And these are just under five pounds. So this one was $19.34. And the one below it was about the same price. And then I've really been wanting cube steaks. So I saw that they had some. So I got those. Very expensive, six twenty-eight a pound. So this package, just over three pounds, is nineteen thirty-four. I think I can get two meals out of that. We'll have to see how many pieces are in there once I open it up. Um, and then this, I will divide up into four meals per package. So there's like eight meals for ground beef, hopefully two meals of cube steak, and then this is pork chops. They were two forty-eight a pound. Um, so this was just under four pounds for $9.82. I will probably cut those thinner because they're really thick cut. Um, and then get two dinners out of that. And then we've got some boneless, skinless chicken breast. This was $2.68 a pound. So each package was around $16.50 um, because I got them to be about the same size. Um, I will probably split this up into like two breasts per bag and get quite a few meals out of there. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten, say like five bags in each. So that's like another ten meals. So that's how I do that. And then we got some pepperoni pizza, hot pockets, some Italian style beef meatballs. I get questions in my grocery hauls about, or in my what's for dinners about what meatballs we like. Um, frozen meatballs are still frozen meatballs. They're not the best, not as good as homemade. But these are the ones that I buy, and I usually air fry them before I toss them in the sauce. So, Italian style beef meatballs from Sam's Club. And then these are our favorite chicken strips, the Tyson crispy chicken strips. They're really big and really good, and I also cook those in the air fryer. Then I got some egg rolls. The kids like the ones from Aldi the last time I got them, um, and the ones from Aldi aren't even very good to me. Um, but I love these, and again, I cook these in the air fryer, and so the kids wanted to try those, so I picked up another box of those. It's been a little while since I had them. Then I got some eggs. Their eggs were $6.48 for a dozen and a half, so I got the max that you could get, which is two dozen, because that's a pretty good price for what they are. These are pasture-raised, like, better eggs. They're brown eggs. Um, they're better than the ones that I was paying four oh six a dozen for at Aldi, um, and these are like four thirty eight I think per dozen. So yeah, I got those. I got some more of our favorite ranch, the Lighthouse Homestyle Ranch. I got some pesto. I really like this, and um, I don't usually use it all at once. So whatever's left, I end up throwing in the freezer, and it freezes really well. Then I got some of these Lance crackers the cream cheese and chai flavor because they are my favorite and yeah I had some from Dollar Tree recently and I was like this is probably a better deal to go ahead and get this big pack of them then I got some maple syrup some peanut butter filled pretzels that the kids really like I got some of the chef chamois garlic butter some tortillas I love to use these for Andy's breakfast burritos, which I'm probably going to have to make more of soon. So I got those. And then I got croissants, just because everybody said croissants when I asked if there was anything they wanted from Sam's Club, because we love their croissants. They're delicious. I got a rotisserie chicken. This is going to be used in dinner tonight. Then I don't have to cook any chicken. I'm just going to pull all that off and use that in dinner. I got some tuna some sour cream and onion lays potato chips rice crispy treats we had these last time and everybody loved them so i got them again grits instant grits andy is having some dental work done and needs soft foods and he likes grits 
So I uh, got these grits to make it easy for him to make himself some grits. Then we got some Lysol laundry sanitizer. I buy this all the time, but usually I buy it at Walmart or Kroger or Target. Um, but this was a really good price for this size. It's 150 fluid ounces and it was like $15. So I got that and that'll last us a long time. And then just got some paper towels and a toilet paper. And that is everything that I got at Sam's Club. That is going to be it for my Sam's Club haul today. I will have the total here on the screen. I believe it was around $333 for all of this, um, which is a lot, but that makes it so that my weekly grocery haul is like smaller because I won't need eggs now and I won't need to buy meat and all of that stuff. So it kind of like evens out. I spend less on the weeks when I stock up a lot at Sam's Club. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried anything new from Sam's Club that I should maybe look out for next time I am there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!